Understanding Imperial Mandate Unraveling Historical Phrases Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to explore an intriguing phrase, Imperial Mandate. This phrase has historical roots and is packed with meaning. Whether you're an English language learner or just curious about history, you'll find this topic fascinating. Imperial Mandate refers to an authoritative command or instruction issued by an empire or an emperor. The word imperial relates to an empire or emperor, signifying power and authority on a grand scale. Mandate, on the other hand, means an official order or commission to do something. When combined, these words convey a sense of a powerful, often unquestionable command originating from the highest level of authority in an empire. The concept of an imperial mandate is deeply rooted in history. One famous example is the Mandate of Heaven from ancient China. This was a philosophical concept that the authority of the emperor was divinely granted and could be revoked by heavenly powers if the emperor failed to govern justly. This belief was pivotal in justifying the rule of emperors and played a significant role in the dynastic changes throughout Chinese history. In modern times, the phrase, imperial mandate, is less about literal emperors and more metaphorical. It's often used to describe a situation where someone is acting with great authority, sometimes without proper justification. For example, a government leader making decisions without the consensus of the people might be accused of acting under an imperial mandate. Let's see how imperial mandate can be used in sentences. 1. The CEO's decision to restructure the company felt like an imperial mandate, leaving no room for discussion. 2. The ancient scrolls describe the emperor's edicts as an imperial mandate, reflecting his divine right to rule. I hope this video has given you a clearer understanding of the phrase, imperial mandate, and its rich historical background. Remember, Learning phrases like this not only enhances your English vocabulary but also gives you a glimpse into the past. Keep exploring and happy learning!